What's up everybody? Today we're gonna learn two audio tricks that will make your videos flow much better. So this first little trick is called constant power. So when you're editing a vlog or a wedding film or really any type of video that uses natural audio from the camera or your onboard mic, sometimes you'll experience a popping sound when you have two clips right up next to each other. There's a really easy way to fix this. You can kind of hear it right here, it's really quiet. One more time. So there's that little cracking sound in there. All you're gonna do right in between these two little audio clips, when you see this little red cursor, you're gonna right click in between those two clips. You're gonna hit apply default transitions. Now this is gonna add a cross dissolve here for your video, which is gonna make it just like fade into the next one. So you can use that if you want. I usually delete that and then it will now make the audio flow smoothly together. And another cool thing, you can totally adjust the constant power length if it's in between like two clips of you talking and you don't want it to pop, you can just make that constant power transition really tiny and it will just sound really smooth. So that's tip number one, short and sweet. Tip number two, I call it the lead up. I don't really know if it has an official term or not. What you're gonna do as the editor is use the audio clip as your transition into the next scene. I'll show you an example right here. Here's two of my buddies coming out of my apartment and then the next shot is uh, my friend Jesse talking right here, but you'll hear him start to talk before it changes to this scene. So just watch this real quick. How's it going? We're getting, we're getting coffee to start off and then no, we don't have anything else planned. It's really simple, but it keeps the viewer immersed. When we're editing a video together, we don't want any distractions. We don't want pops. We don't want weird sounds to pull the viewer out of the experience you're creating. Okay, so here's how you do it. It's really simple. So here's your two clips right here on the timeline. What you're gonna need to do, you can highlight both of these clips, right click them, hit unlink right here. So now the audio and the video are totally separate. So you can move the audio independently from the video. What I like to do is pull this clip back a little bit, the second clip, push this one forward, and then watch them connect. We're getting, we're getting coffee. The thing you need to be careful about is the timing of the clips. So. I usually try to cut into the, the second clip in between a word. That way his, it doesn't cut when his lips are moving weird or anything like that. So I try to find a good spot to do that. <laughs> How's it going? We're getting, we're getting coffee to start off and then... Yeah, so I think that works really well. So there you go. That's two really short, really sweet tips that will honestly just like clean up the quality of your videos and make the whole experience more immersive. If you have any recommendations for editing or shooting tutorials, anything camera related, mention it in the comments and I'll do my best to make a tutorial about it and we'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye. One man, one editing tutorial that could save the editors of this world. One mission.